What's going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that is very important. Something that we were using kind of as a very disposable item. Some race teams may still continue to do that, but others may not. That's right guys, today we're talking about NGK spark plugs. Almost everybody uses NGKs. I have used NGK plugs exclusively for many years, probably 10 to 12 years. They've always been dirt cheap. Rock Auto Parts has always been my go-to. They were always like a dollar forty to dollar seventy cent a piece. You can find dealers that was even cheaper than that. But a few days ago, uh, Devin Vanderhoof. I don't know if y'all follow him or not, but Hate Crime Racing. Uh, he's got a great YouTube channel. Check him out. He said, "Are you guys have you ordered your spark plugs yet? Because there's going to be a big increase in price." So racing season is here, and I, I looked at my stash. I don't have a, enough to get me through the whole season. So I went to my handy dandy uh, Rock Auto Parts. I put 100 plugs in my cart. They were $1.66 a piece. And I said, okay, I must have beat the rush. And I kind of fell asleep, kind of forgot about them, and woke back up a couple hours later, and the price had doubled to $3.40. I was so mad. That's exactly the way I play, play the stock market is I get in too late and usually go out too soon. So I lost out, had to pay double the price for my spark plugs, but you know, it is what it is. From what it sounds like, the plugs are going to even skyrocket up to, you know, maybe even seven or eight dollars a piece. Now spark plugs are what we read in the motor. You know, nitrous racers, they change them every, every pass it seems. A turbo car can usually get by with a lot more passes. But man, it's gonna be expensive to run a car this year. I mean, if spark plugs are $8 a piece, that's $64 each pass if you're a nitrous car. If you're a turbo car, you can go at least a race. Sometimes you can go multiple races. But what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you an old school trick that I was able to dig out of my pile of junk because I'm a pack rat. I never get rid of stuff that may benefit me in the future. So I'm gonna show you what I found. I'm gonna show you how to use it. So now with the price of plugs the way they are, you know, these things are probably not going to be as disposable as they once were. You know, $1.66 a piece or $1.50 a piece, $2 a piece. That's that's not a ton of money in the grand scheme of things when you're when you're racing. And I guess even $8 when you jack it up to $8 a price or a plug is still not super expensive, but it does add to, you know, the cost of racing. So I'm going to show you real fast what we used to do back in the day. And I'm, I'm going to resort back to doing it for sure. Let me show you what I found. All right, guys, well, this is a lot of spark plugs. This is just some of the ones that I've, I've got out there in the, in the garage. And you can see these are old spark plugs. These are from my other set of heads I had. These are, you can see they're a nice tapered seat. And these were number nine, more porcelain showing. And so we have more porcelain showing down there then the, the plug just heats up. So uh, these are just some old ones. Any nitrous racer, they've got hundreds of plugs, hundreds of plugs. I remember my buddy Kevin Robinson back in the day when we used to True Street race. I needed a plug and he pulled out a box and he had like hundreds of used plugs. Nitrous racer had like one or two passes on them. And I was like, man, those look better than what, I mean, I, I pull out all the time. So I grabbed a whole bunch of his used plugs and um, and I went to racing. This is a good thing about turbo car. It was on the 85 back then. But you can see, I've just got a bunch of plugs. Um, there are a bunch of in here. There's a lot of plugs. I've got a bunch. There's, this is probably a quarter of what I got. And then you might ask why have I, why have I been keeping them? Well, uh, I don't know, probably about 10 years ago, I decided I was gonna do some art with them. And I made a, a couple cool things, top fuel dragster, and I incorporated spark plugs, nice little airplane. And then the coolest ones there are these motorcycles. I made some pretty cool motorcycles, I think. Um, they were always fun to, to go out in the garage and just kind of have fun building them, uh, putting spark plugs in them. And I was just using a MIG welder and I suck at MIG welding and I still suck at MIG welding, but uh, fun stuff. But this is my motorcycle gang. <laughs> so that's what I was using all the spark plugs for. Old plugs. See how these are all grimy? They've got some some soot on them. You know they're not the best shape at all. If you're if you're trying to get a tune, if you're trying to read a plug for tuning, uh, this is probably not going to be okay because you look at the cadmium burn. But if you have a tune that is set and it's in good shape, uh, and you know it's nice and safe, you don't ever hurt plugs. Occasionally, you foul the plugs out, it starts misfiring, it starts skipping a little bit. Then this is going to be your new best friend. And a lot of people probably know what this is. It had, it had, man, it had uh, spider webs all over. I have not used it forever. This is the old Harbor Freight spark plug cleaner. And it's very simple, very easy to do. Uh, it's got this nice little bag in it. You put 
It's a real fine grit in it. It's a, just a, a grit that comes with the cleaner. Uh, you can use, I've also used glass beads, uh, just a real, the real fine glass, it works good. It's got this nice handy dandy little button here. You push it, you just hook it to your air compressor. Down on this side, all you do is stick the spark plug in it. You take your spark plug, you stick it in the hole, and then what I usually do is I turn it so that it's like this, so all the grit falls down and then it just pelts it. This thing stands up and it just pelts it. I'm, I'm usually holding the button down here and as I'm holding the button, what I'm doing is I'm kind of twisting the plug around, just trying to clean it and then I'll spin it in there just a little bit and I'll do it a little bit more and then, you know, and then I'll, I'll I just do that for, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds. And then you pull the plug out and when you pull the plug out, it doesn't look new because the cadmium's on it. But all that black soot down in there, all the fouling, typically that stuff's gone. And you know, what I usually try to do too is I'll, before I do that, I'll try to get like any oils or any grease off of it. I'll hit it with like a, a brake clean. Here's the plug that I just had. I just pulled it out. It's the same one. It was really oily. So that must have been one of my cylinders that I had a broke ring at some point, which uh, some of my buddies remember Bill Collins. He was with me all the time. We had a couple cylinders occasionally when we were running on E85, we would bust a piston or break a ring and uh, we called it Old Smokey. And the engine is actually the same engine that I have now, but it would end up oiling the plug. So we would have to change one plug every pass, you know, close to the end of the season. But you can see I cleaned it up and that's that half cadmium burn I was talking about. Uh, that's a little bit less than half burn. And so, you know, that's a pretty good close burn, but E85 does kind of, you know, give it a little bit of uh, color down in there. And if, if it had oil, which is, this one did, you'll see what I'm saying as far as cleaning it up. Okay, so let's go clean this one up real fast. Okay, so here we go, like I was saying, in the shop. And you can mount this thing if you wanted to, but you know, if you want to have it with you at the track, it's not necessarily, has to be mounted. So you just take it, stick it in the hole, and then you're gonna press the button. Press it, kind of rotate it, clean it. Occasionally you can shake it around if you want to make sure the grit is going into various locations. Go ahead and shake it a little bit. And my air compressor is out of air and I had to turn it off because it's in here with me. But you can see it is way more usable. Hold on. I'm just gonna hit it with got some nice brake clean. Okay, so I had to come back in here to better light and my air pressure was not quite as good as it normally is, but you can see down in there now, it most of the oil is gone and you can see the cadmium plating is now brushed off or not brushed off, it's blasted off. And you know, it's, it's clean though. So this is a usable plug. And this is another plug I did. This is a number 11. Same thing, I hit it with brake clean and then throwed it in the plug cleaner. And this one come out fantastic. Look how clean this plug is. But this is something, if you have a tune up that is set and the car is running properly and you're not making any drastic changes, you may be able to clean your plugs. I mean, I've seen people uh, do it. I've done it. You know, the car is misfiring, it's missing. Man, that brake clean doggone tears my fingers up. The, I have done that and I've seen people do it. You have a misfire, fouls, uh, plugs fouled out. You don't have a new plug. You throw it into spark plug cleaner and it cleans the plug and then you go on about your business. Not gonna be able to read the plug though. So once you do this, there is no longer a read for anything, for timing or for, for air fuel ratio uh, from my experience. That's how you use a spark plug cleaner. NGK spark plug has gone through the roof, the price. So this may be what some people start doing. I know I'm gonna be doing it. I will be 100% for sure uh, cleaning some spark plugs, especially since I'm doing a lot of prep racing now where I don't have it turned up to the moon. All right, guys, y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to go to turbojohnracing.com and pick you up some merchandise. Appreciate it, guys.